This is Joseph Drust, and welcome back to another episode of Ask ZBrush. So we had a question sent in asking, how can I reset the Gizmo 3D? So this question was sent along with an image, and here I have the image here. And you'll see that the user has a model inside of ZBrush. They've activated the Gizmo 3D, and you can see that the Gizmo 3D is oriented in this fashion. So the question is asking about resetting the Gizmo 3D, so it goes back to the middle of the model, and also reset the axis orientation so that it correlates to the world. So how can we go by doing this inside of ZBrush? So to start off, I just have ZBrush loaded up and I just have the demo dog here loaded in. So to activate the Gizmo 3D, we first just need to come up to the top here and click on Move, Scale, or Rotate. And after we activate one of these options up here, as long as you have this Gizmo 3D button enabled, you should now see the Gizmo 3D in your scene. Now the Gizmo 3D is a universal manipulator inside of ZBrush. This will allow you to move, scale, and rotate your model in ZBrush. So the question is asking about resetting the Gizmo 3D. So as you can see with the dog here, the Gizmo 3D is off in space. And it's also oriented like this, so it's not oriented in the world axis. So how can I go by resetting this to get it back to the center of my model and oriented with the world? So to do this, you just need to come across these options at the top here. And the options that we want to use up here are first the Go to Unmasked Mesh Center option, and then also the Reset Mesh Orientation. Now if you click on these by default, so if I come over here and just click Reset Mesh Orientation, this is going to look at your Gizmo 3D and it's going to reorient the Gizmo 3D to the world axis. So if I click this right now, you'll see that the Gizmo 3D is now oriented to the world. However, the dog model has also changed its position. And this is because the Gizmo 3D is currently linked to the dog. So if I undo this here to get back to where I was, and now if I come to the Gizmo 3D options and click this lock unlock option here, this will now unlock the Gizmo 3D from the model. And now with this unlocked, if I click this reset orientation, it's only going to affect the Gizmo 3D and not affect the model as well. So if I click the reset orientation now, you'll see that the Gizmo 3D is now aligned with the world axis. However, the dog's position has not changed. Now the next option we have is go to unmasked mesh center. Now this option here will work if the lock is in the locked position or the unlocked position. So it doesn't matter which position this button is in, it will work the same. So if I click this button here, it's going to look at the unmasked portions of the mesh and it's going to center the gizmo to those areas. So simply clicking this is now going to take the gizmo 3D's position and center it to my model. So clicking the Go to Unmasked Mesh Center has now put the Gizmo 3D into the center of the mesh. And so now I can see it's right there in the middle. So the process again to reset the Gizmo 3D is to first unlock the Gizmo 3D. Then you can click the Reset Orientation option here, which will reset the Gizmo 3D's orientation to the world. And then you can also click the Go to Unmasked Mesh Center, which will now center the Gizmo 3D back to your model. Now you can come back and lock the Gizmo 3D, and now you'll be able to perform the Gizmo 3D move, scale, and rotate options based on that position. So if you have any other questions related to ZBrush pipelines or processes, please use the hashtag AskZBrush on Twitter. Happy ZBrushing.